Hi there, it's Sarah Windorf, Instructional Designer. I'm here to show you the Google Slides Plus Nearpod integration. I've got a Nearpod account currently and I also have a Google account. So right now I'm in Google Slides and I'll show you what this looks like. So if I click on add-ons, if you click get add-ons, you can search for Nearpod on there and add it to your add-ons list. I've already gone ahead and done that so what I can do here now is open up Nearpod and you'll see here on the right hand side there are a variety of lessons that you can, are interactive elements that you can add to your lesson here. So there's audio, collaborate which is kind of like a nice uh, Padlet activity, draw it if you're having students underline, highlight, circle, or just generally, you know, create any kind of drawing. There's also some virtual reality field trips, um, fill in the blanks, graphing calculator if you're, um, you know, in the math. Uh, in, in math or sciences. There's also matching pairs, open-ended questions, and so much more. So I'll show you a few examples here from one of my lessons. I've, uh, I've built out a Google Slides slideshow here, and you'll see that all of the items here with the blue uh, with the blue titles on them are ones that I've added in Nearpod. So say I want to add um, a lesson, uh, an interactive lesson right after this uh, first slide, I can just come over here to my Nearpod um, uh, list and I can select any type of uh, interactive act element that I want to add. So for example, if I want to add um, a quiz, for example, I'll click on that and I can type in my question here. So question one and you know so forth. You can put the answers in and then you just select the correct answer and when you click save you'll notice now that it's been added to your slideshow. So it'll show up like this like a quiz slide but then when you go to preview it so you have to click save and go to Nearpod and then you can preview it and view it in Nearpod. So really quickly just to show you what this looks like if I click uh, let's go back to uh, let's click save and go to Nearpod for this one. So once your file is done saving in Nearpod, you can come back and you can select either a live lesson. So if you're in front of your class, in a face-to-face -face class, uh, you can deliver this live. So students would log into Nearpod, they would get a code, they can um, then access your lesson and you can control the, the pace of the slides at the front. Uh, and you can use those interactions as part of your discussion in class. You can also do a student pace version. So this generates uh, a link or an embed code that you can then uh, put onto Moodle. So if a student misses class or if you want to then later put your slides on Moodle for them to access at a later date, they can uh, redo that whole lesson uh, with the Nearpod interactions just like they had done in class. And then there's also a preview option here. So I'll show you this just to um, let you see how the interactions work when they're uh, finally integrated into Nearpod. So this is a, one of the slides that I created in Google Slides. If I click preview, it'll then advance the slide. So here's, you know, second slide, third slide, and then the Nearpod interaction will show up. So here I've got a question where I can put, um, you know, multiple answers and students can select. You can integrate open-ended questions. So we've got, um, you know, a question here and then the students have to type it in. This one is a drawing activity, so highlight the three most important key messages in this text. You can use the pencil tool, highlighter tool, students can add text, they can add images. Um, they can erase what they've done as well. So if a student is, um, you know, using the highlighter tool, for example, they can come in and they can highlight the items that you have on your screen here. Here's an example of the Padlet style or sort of like a, a cork board or a sticky note activity where students can type in their answer here and then they post and then you'll see it pop up on a board uh, live in front of the class on the screen. So there's a quick overview of the Google Slides plus Nearpod integration, how you can use it in your course. Say that you want to post your lesson from the day into Moodle for your students to access. What you can do here is uh, include an embed code from Nearpod so that you can create a Moodle page and then embed that uh, Nearpod lesson right on the Moodle page. And just like I was looking at it on Nearpod, students can join a session, they can scroll through and, uh, and complete the lesson.